Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. On a day headlined by the Team of the Year vote being released with us getting our say in voting and who we think should be in the men's and women's Team of the Year in FC24, you might have missed some of the crazy market movements on cards where you probably didn't expect it. And they're going up for a reason that you probably wouldn't have expected as well. We're going to take a look at that, some things you maybe want to be aware of, and also an investment in what looks like it's going to be a pretty slow week of content, but an investment that you might be able to make to keep the coins coming in as things get closer and closer to team of the year. So we're going to talk about a lot of that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content. It was a slow day. And from what the rest of this week looks like too, guys, it might be a bit of a slow week, which is to be expected from time to time. We're coming out of a winter wild cards promo with a lot of evolutions, a lot of players in packs, a lot of SBCs. You guys know what EA like to do. They like to go up with the content, make it insane. And then we have some valleys and we have some dips where it does get quiet. That's how they keep people coming in and out of their game. And uh, that's how they keep things interesting. And Sometimes we wish it was insane all the time, but that's not the way they run their game. But the SBCs yesterday is where people are disappointed the most because our upgrade pack SBC, we don't have the 80 plus player pick anymore, guys. We have the 81 plus double, which to me is inferior almost to the winter wild cards crafting upgrade right now i think there's the best system of crafting on this game is to put your non-rares into the winter wild cards crafting upgrade which we haven't been doing much of because the 80 plus player pick has been so good but now this is a decent sbc to do if you're going to try to work on that and get all the um, packs and objectives that correspond with doing this objective i would put non-rares into that and i would put your gold rares into this of course you put some non rares in as well because it requires uh five rares so you can do a little bit of both but i would say put your rares into this and your non rares into this and uh at least get yourself a couple of upgrade packs there but that's a bit disappointing comparatively uh with the 80 plus player pick from last week it's just not quite as good the 85 plus player pick is back which is okay right and this is a part of the fodder market that did start to move yesterday it doesn't look like it's moved much to if you're just looking at the prices here on footbin but you can just see like every couple hours 84s they're up almost approaching 2k 1.9k i think they're going to go above 2k today i think it's possible if ea do not run lightning rounds i think it's very possible for 83s to end up going above a thousand coins this week as well which is a part of the fodder market that we are in invested in and interested in with this content that dropped yesterday so again the sbc content was not that great we did have a broby player of the month as well who's coming in at about thirty nine thousand coins very cheap sbc just not that great of a card unless you're a fan of the air division now let's keep it moving because yesterday we had more action and objectives of course with the fc pro live games being played and the easter egg mystery nation once again guys it is south korea take hyun min sun take lee kang in into a game hit some finesse shots get yourself the coin boost get yourself 83 plus pack there it's not that much to do and you do get an 83 plus pack at least and also yesterday or if you watch the rerun of the broadcast uh, you got the Jumbo Premium Gold and a two-player gold players pack. So that was there yesterday. Of course, same issues as always. People having problems um, getting the rewards because like the way that the rewards drop watching the streams just seems to be glitchy. I don't know what it is. It is painful. But uh, those packs right there are not that great. But it's kind of the packs throughout the whole pro live season that you're saving up for by the next uh, four weeks, right, with those packs that you'll be able to get. Now, the cards that are getting upgraded from yesterday's live event – Daniel Malin, he's all the hype right now in this game because of the evolution, right? But then also, his card is going to be getting yet again another upgrade. Malin is going to get a plus one inform upgrade. He's going to go to 88 rated, and he's also going to get another playstyle. He's fully upgraded as the top two players, um, Malin and Renan Lodi. Those two pros are headed to the tournament. This is kind of like the group stages. They're headed to the tournament. They were the top two in the group. So Ren Renan Lodi is also getting a plus one inform upgrade and a playstyle. Jean Rowe is going to be getting himself an inform upgrade, an alternate position, and a playstyle. And um, let's see, Koldo Mwani is going to get an alternate position and a playstyle as well. But Ma Mane, Koldo Mwani, and Jean Rowe are now non-upgrading cards. Those cards are not live anymore. And as you would expect, some of them are dropping... A lot on the market. If we take a look at Sadio Mane's card, he is 200 less than 200,000 coins, 
after yesterday he started off the day he did have a bit of a spike up to 420k during the games as his pro was winning and then dropped off a ton same thing with Cole Omwani. Um, he hasn't dropped as much he's about 298,000 coins but to me this is a card that is still a bit expensive heading into team of the year yes he has great links and it is rare but he no longer gets uh, an upgrade besides uh, the play style and alternate position. Maybe they give him like right wing or left wing. We'll see. And hopefully for a play style, they give him like what quick step. Maybe they give him like rapid or something. That would be cool, but probably too good. So I'm not expecting a lot there. And you're you're noticing that right by those prices dropping on most of those cards. Now Malin is up. Malin's 42k, and this is kind of like a secondary option to the evolution, although it's not as good. But this one is four star, four star, and he's going to get a couple more upgrades to his card with the playstyle and with the overall upgrade. Maybe today, right? They upgraded those cards on Tuesdays before. But the Renan Lodi SBC, if you did that, is looking really good value right now because of that upgrade that is coming. Now, that's enough talk about that. Now, the real reason uh, of the title of the video today and probably the best part about content yesterday, which is crazy to say this, but the best part of content yesterday was the cup. Yeah, and it's actually not one cup, it's two cups formed into one. You get 1,000 XP for doing this between playing five games. You have to win two, win four, and win five in each of the two cups. And as you would expect, since it's a fire versus ice cup, you have to play with fire and ice players. If you go to the actual cup and see, there are two different ones, right? There's the FC versus fire and there's the FC versus ice. And uh, it is five matches per day. So you can sit there, you can grind it out. I mean, all you have to have is one fire player and one loan or one ice player and one loan. So a lot of people are out on the market buying these versus cup cards and or versus fire and ice cards because the cup rewards are actually kind of decent. 85-2 for winning five, 83-2, 82-2, and then you get an 84 times five at the very end with the XP involved. It's not that hefty of a grind. I mean, yes, you do have to play at least 10 games, but it's a couple games you can play each day, start to chip off the wins, get your games played in the each cup mode, and you get yourself some okay rewards. And then the reward at the end, and you get to try out some of the new cards in the promo team in the process if you don't have one and tradable in your club already. Like, it is a W idea, and it's nice that EA did give us good rewards. And good enough rewards, in fact, that if you take a look at any of the versus fire or ice cards right now on the market, the cheapest ones are selling for around 19k as my game crashes on me you love to see it but footbin is telling us uh of course that as you can see that 19,000 coins is the cheapest price for a lot of these cards and if you take a look at them they have doubled like 19k for Asenjo yesterday around the content drop but before that he was basically discard at 10,000 coins and look at this graph just absolutely flying in price guys in my opinion these cards are still in packs until the end of the week I know there's not a lot of lightning rounds but there's still a couple of reward periods to come out yet yeah, we've got rewards today happening on Tuesday for foot champs rewards which is bad because I haven't finished my games. That's a problem. Uh, but these cards have gone up a ton. If you pack one today in Champs Rewards or, I don't know, Rivals Rewards on Thursday, which they probably won't be 20K at that range, but I think the peak amount of demand for these cards going up as much as they did uh, is right now. So, like, yesterday I had a bunch of Essentios that I had bought. Now, I've cleared them off my transfer list by now, but I was buying Essentios at 13K and lazy selling them at, like, 17,000 coins before his price went up. And then his price went up yesterday, and I had to up my price range and listing because now he's 19,000 coins. Got a sale at 20,000 coins as well. Um, those cards went up a ton. So my advice to you would be I would sell those if you pack them. I think this is as high as they're going to go because there are a lot of discard fire and ice players. And as we go further throughout the week, you're going to see people who complete the cup, and uh, the demand for these cards will slowly drop down. So that's my advice to you is sell those because they're all about 18 to 19,000 coins. And um, I think they'll probably be dropping today before content and after content as well. You never know what lightning rounds EA are going to drop. But I will say this. It is refreshing to actually see cards on the market go up based off of pure gameplay demand. That is not something, um, you know, back in the day in FIFA 19 and FIFA 20, we would invest all the time on wednesday night and thursday mornings for division rivals rewards because division rivals rewards would come out and people would get coins 
and they would go buy players for the teams and it would make the market fly. It was one of the easiest and best ways to make coins every single week. Like we're talking informs would go up like 20K. Like I remember buying Raheem Sterling inform for like 90 or 100,000 coins and the next morning without fail, he would be 120K, like easy stuff like that. Uh, like I kind of miss those days, right? And yesterday with those prices going up because of the cup and because of the requirement in the cup, it felt a little bit like that. Now, not quite the same because they're actually required, but that's kind of the, the what's going on right now with the versus fire and ice card. So I would sell those. Um, and at least they're only 20,000 coins. So if you got to buy one to do the cup, they're not that expensive. So um, yeah, that was pretty crazy. That was, again, part of the best content that we got yesterday. Now, the EA content post was also put out. And don't worry, we're going to get to the team of the year vote. I'm going to get there. Uh, EA put this out on Instagram. They didn't tweet it. But this is the content upcoming for the week. And it looks pretty looks pretty average, right? Moments SBC, flashback SBC. They moved that forward into this week. I guess maybe this week we'll get the Danny Welbeck. Who knows? We've already got the Air Divisi Player of the Month. We've already had an upgrade SBC. We could have more. They still uh, show evolutions in here, uh, which could mean evolutions during the week this week. It also could mean evolutions on the weekend, right? Because that would be a part of the next seven days. Um, and then they also show versus SBCs. And they say icon SBCs, but they show the Centurions card design that is not the centurion's icon design and that's got a lot of people thinking i believe it's since it says icon sbcs it's going to be a centurion's icon right that would make sense as we're kind of making sense of ea's mistake right there and of all the centurion's icons that we haven't had an sbc for yet um you know there's been a number of them that have already been released in the season rewards right kuman you could have got out of the season in this season you've got kelly smith as a reward they wouldn't put out gattuso uh zanetti would be just really not a good one to put out as well as an sbc so if we're thinking about an icon that could be released through sbcs guys it could be zico it could be ashley cole it could be jarzinho or in my opinion it could be wayne rooney those are kind of like the four main names we just had a whole, we still have a hullet SBC that, so they won't do hullet, but we could potentially be looking at another really solid icon SBC if it is one of those couple players. Like, I really believe it's Zico, Cole, Jardino. I guess Makalele could be in there as well, or uh, Rooney. I feel like those are kind of the only cards left for Centurion's Icons that they could drop. And that could be a pretty, especially if it's Zico, man. Like, we had a Jarzinho last year. He was a new icon. Zico is a new icon this year. If they dropped a Zico SBC, you maybe have noticed Zico has been on the top of Footbin. I think a lot of people are thinking this through as well. He's like 2.6 mil. Um, there's no leak yet. There's no official news. There might be news coming later today. I think we'll get news on the flashback SBC if there's somebody different, moments, or the Centurion's Icon card very, very soon. So watch out for Twitter X uh, for leaks about that. But if we were to get this card as an SBC, that would be bananas, right? And that would be more demand for fodder. Another reason to invest in fodder as well, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. But that's kind of the only things we can read into from this tweet and from what we saw yesterday. There's just not a lot going on this week, which means it's going to be a pretty quiet week for the market. Now, yesterday, the biggest news, as we've already talked about, sorry to switch, switch screens too much, but the team of the year vote has been released. We knew it was coming. We even knew some of the nominees already. They put out the video yesterday, which was kind of cool and funny, but it didn't really give us any news, right? Uh, the video on EA's Twitter X account uh, with uh, Jamie Carragher, Micah Richards, The Galazzo Show, Jude Bellingham, Puteas were on there. There wasn't a whole lot in there just except for entertainment value. Um, and I guess there's an official team of the year song this year as well, if you watch that, it's they actually have their own song that they made for Team of the Year, which is interesting. Um, and then, of course, they talked a little bit about the vote. They mentioned here that the final Team of the Year 11s will be announced shortly after the vote concludes. And if you actually take a look at the fine print, once again, the voting concludes late Sunday, January 14th. That is Pacific time zone. So that's actually like early Monday morning for most of the rest of the world or sometime in the, on the day of Monday for most of the rest of the world. Um, and then after that, they said they'll be starting to release those players. Now, of course, if you have questions about this vote, does the vote really matter? EA says in the fine print, the final team of your selection will be determined by a combination of EA and community votes. So if your vote matters, if you think the vote matters, it's probably mattering about 0.00001%. 
We'll never know, right? They never give us the specifics. But um, I'm sure there's already players in place that are guaranteed in Team of the Year. Mbappe, Holland, Jude Bellingham. The fact that Jude Bellingham, like we said, was on the show yesterday, he's definitely in the Team of the Year. But there's probably a room for give and play a little bit based off of who EAC people voting on. Um, now, that being said, technically, if you put a team in here, you can vote unlimited times. I'm just dragging and dropping random players. But if you click Submit Vote, refresh the page and vote again, it'll submit it again, or it says it, that it submits it. So does that mean that you just voted twice or does your first account or first vote count? You know what I'm saying? A lot of unknowns. It's, it's more for fun. And that's how I would treat this as well. People really get mad about the votes. You want to see my vote and share your opinions on it? Drop it down in the comments below. I voted on uh, who I want to see in the game. I voted for Ultimate team card purposes, not real life performance, just the way that I chose to vote on it, right? A lot of people are voting off of real life performance. Whatever way you go with it is completely fine. The team of the year that comes out in the end is going to be sick cards regardless. I put Modric, De Bruyne, Bellingham in my midfield. I put Kane, Messi, and Mbappe. I feel like my attack is what's really different from a lot of people. I'd love to see another juiced Harry Kane. I would love to see a Messi card because I need to pack team of the year Messi once again. I had team of the year Messi in FIFA 22, and it was disgustingly broken. I realized Kane's probably not getting in, but I'm still going to show my support for the boy and vote for him. Um, and I voted for Trent at right back. I don't think Trent's going to win, but I just remember some of the Trent team of the year cards of old. And my goodness, those cards are disgusting with how he plays in the game this year. Like if they give him pace, that could be a really cracked card as well. So that's why I voted for Trent and the rest of the team, I think is actually not that far off from what a lot of you guys might have, but let me know your comments down below. And again, it's fun. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out about this is EA said that the team of the year will be announced with special team of the year player items released into EA sports FC featuring some of the highest ratings of the season to celebrate each player's status as one of the world's best. Highest ratings of the season, which once again brings up the question, will we have a 99 rated team of the year card? Honestly, guys, I think that ship has sailed. I would love to be wrong, but in the last couple of years, they haven't given 99 rated to team of the years. They stop at 98, and even most of the cards are like 95, 96, a couple of 97s last year with Benz, De Bruyne, um, and Mbappe, but then Holland's 96 rated, Courtois 96. You even have multiple 94s with Militao, Hakimi, and Teo Hernandez. Um, yeah, man, like I, one of the reasons I put Modric in the team of the year was just like Modric Trivellas are going to be insane. Imagine this card with Trivella plus and like incisive pass because once again, we look forward to these cards having two playstyle pluses. So I really hope they give the team of the year a proper juice. It's just going to be really different this year, guys, with the women's vote. I haven't done a women's vote yet, uh, but I'm probably going to vote here based off of the like the meta as well in terms of what cards I want to see used in the game. Moppy Leon, sign me up for that. Uh, Rolfo, give me another Trickster Plus and a Whipped Pass Plus Rolfo. I hear Ona Battle is really insane. Drop a team of your card for her. Um, you know what? Give me... I just think there's going to be a ton of the women's Barca team in here. Bonmati, Puteas... I mean, there's a lot of good players in here in terms of the FIFA meta, the ultimate team meta that I'd like to see in here. Um, you know what? Let's go Gioro for PSG links. Attackers, let's go. Oh, my goodness. Graham Hansen, Diani. Oh, man. Sophia Smith. Wow. Wait, isn't there a Trinity Rodman in this vote too? Uh, or not Trinity. Yes, Trinity Rodman and Williams. Goodness gracious. This is going to be an insane women's team of the year too. Give me, give me Rodman for Smith actually. So that's my attack. I'm, I did that really, really fast. I agree. Submit vote. Like the women's team of the year is going to be so interesting to see how that goes uh, down as well. But uh, yeah, guys, that was the biggest news from yesterday, the team of the year vote. And really other than that, the content was pretty slow, right? As we kind of wrap that all up and talk about all that, it's probably going to be a bit of a slower week, but that also means that the market is probably going to be slower as well. And like we talked about in yesterday's video, it's going to be a good time to be buying players on a lower budget, listing for a couple thousands more for lazy listing. I bought Jolentins at 15,000 coins, only a couple of them, sold them at 18, right? I'm only making like 2K a card here, but that's fine, right? It's mindless trading where I can just buy the card, relist it, and get maybe a sale every hour, have four, five, six cards listed at all times. And then maybe you get a sale every couple hours, that sort of thing. And then investing in fodder, guys. Since the, the content's going to be slow this week, I'm actually really, really pro fodder. And that's because, again, like we've talked about, a lot of people are not opening packs right now, but there's still going to be SBCs that people want to do, especially as we look into later next week. So this might even seem too early for an investment that you're thinking about prices going up next week. 
But at the same time, it's probably really good to be proactive ahead of the game and thinking about investing in these cards, guys, because I think even this week they're going to go up further. And depending on if we have a team two of versus or if we don't, these cards might be near their lower points now and they may not go too lower during the weekend if we have a no content Friday or like no new cards in packs, which I can't imagine EA doing, but who knows? There might still be a team two of versus. That's unknown as well. We'll have to see. But I just think that for this week, if you want to try to lazy list some fodder as well, uh, you can buy 83s at 850 or 800 coins if you can get them that low. List them like 1.5 to 1.7K. 84s, I got multiple sales yesterday at 2.5K, and, and these cards are 1.8K. Try to get them below that, 1.7, 1.8 on bid. 85s as well for like 4.2 or 4.3 are good buys. I bought, as you maybe realized, uh, I talked about it yesterday in the video, I bought a bunch of 90s for 50 to 51K. They're now 57 and rising. But lazy list these two guys, because check this out, Courtois, 65,000 coins. Just sold them right there. Like lazy listings for the fodder works really good as well. It's going to be a slow week for trading 100%, but stick to the low budget. And honestly, too, stick to those players that people are putting into Evos, because right now with the content being slow a lot of people are grinding evolutions a card we looked at last night on or at least out of my transfer list on last night's video Sane's little bro this card was 12k last night people are putting him into the evo he's actually still sitting at 12k right there but i saw him at 15,000 coins at one point yesterday so i'm actually going to pick up uh i'm going to pick up this Sane and this Sane as well because people are doing these evos man um and there's not any new evo leaks these are just evos that are already existing so i'm gonna list this up for like 17k and if i get a sale then i get a sale right and again for these cards that are being put into evos there's less and less of them on the market especially if they're only on the market like the Sane card is so i also bought athenia from madrid uh, I don't know if she's gone up at all, but I'm going to keep lazy listing these because the longer these Evos are out and people are doing them, there's uh, there's more demand there. So maybe hop on some bids for a couple of those as well. Speaking of Evos, remember how we had the left backs going up? Um, there was no Evo that was dropped yesterday. So cards like Ferland Mendy, I think Ferland Mendy was like 9K. How much is he right now? Or maybe he was even above. He might have been above 9K and like 10,000 coins. He's still 9,000 coins. I remember Teo Hernandez being 12K yesterday. How much is he? I saw that he was down, but now he's kind of going back up. Yeah, Teo Hernandez is still 11K. So I don't know if there's another Evo coming or not. There's no official leaks as of right now, as I check Twitter for any of the leakers like saying anything, and I don't see anything. Um, but yeah, that would definitely move the market a little bit too. So be careful, watch out for that. But yeah, I do like the informs, or I like the fodder investment. Now to speak about informs, they're down and informs could move. They could, but it's going to take an SBC and it's going to be a situation where they're probably going to rise up into content on a day that an SBC would be dropped that would make them go up because people have the leaks. And there was a pack that was added to the code yesterday that sounds like it's an SBC to me. An 87 plus Trailblazer Centurions or Triple Threat. This pack sounds terrible, to be honest with you. Like Trailblazers, Centurions, and Triple Threat. Those are cards that were all released in like November. I mean, besides Trailblazers, you know, Mbappe, Jude, like maybe five of those cards, maybe like three or four Centurions and not including the icons. And like two Triple Threat players are really good at this time of the year. Like, this is a party bag type situation, but this pack seems bad, man. So I don't even know if there was an inform required in that pack, how high would informs go? Maybe they go up like 2 or 3K. There can't be a ton of demand for a pack that looks that mid. So that was added to the code. That could be one of maybe the upgrade SBCs we see during the week this week. It also might not be. We'll just have to see. So I would invest in Team of the Weeks just based off of that. Um, I would say if there's a good SBC that drops that does require a Team of the Week, you could run back to the market and then go maybe buy up some informs at that time if the SBC looks really good. But I'm sticking away from the informs. They already had a spike this week. I'm looking at the lower tier of fodder. Um, and yeah, if we do get more supply in the store, that'll be even a greater time to stock up on fodder. And um, especially before next week when we get pre-Team of the Year, a bunch of packs, we'll be covering all that. But that's kind of what I'm thinking for the market right now. Just keep it low budget and keep it safe now today right we're talking about today we look at this graphic what could be dropping today probably a player sbc and maybe that party bag type of sbc but i'm expecting today to be a pretty quiet one as well guess there's the potential for a potentially an evolution to drop one thing i will say is that for evos the team of the week upgrade evo is going away um so maybe some of the team of the week players that are very very inflated i think of like rafael varan 
If you have a tradable inform Raphael Varan, that'd be a card I would maybe sell because one of the reasons this card keeps flying in price and the fact that he is 400k is ridiculous. He was almost extinct. Yeah, 400,000 coins this Varan is crazy. He was like 480 yesterday. Um, I would I would probably sell this one. Like it, it's almost tempting to buy the two at 400 and try to list them for. 440 or something and make 20k a card here for Varane, but um, he was a lot less than that yesterday, so that'd be really risky. I think this card's going to drop after the evolution goes away today, or it technically doesn't go away, but you can't submit anybody into it anymore. Um, so that's one thing that I would mention about the Team League upgrade. I'd be careful in, right? You can see here that's got a couple hours left, so just be careful with that because that Evo is going away. Ooh, Castellanos, does he look good? Would this be worth 50,000 coins? Probably not. 85 pace, 88 shooting? No. Oh, I have to share this with you to end off the video. We're going to end off with something that you don't often see on the Foot Accounts channel or on my ultimate team. I did the icon pack yesterday, guys. That's how you know content's mid. I started Maldini, but I also did the icon pack, and I got a freaking dub. Thierry Henry. It's weird putting an Arsenal icon into my starting 11 over Harry Kane. But finesse shot, rapid plus, uh, it could have been the Thunderstruck and I would have been really stoked. But I'm happy with a million coin icon. He's been decent so far in game. You guys know I don't like medium, medium work rates, but he's actually been all right so far. Maybe it's just the first game. Like, you know, when an icon's brand new, it seems like they just play great. But he's done really well so far. So we're going to have to give him uh, some more games this week in the cup maybe. Uh, and of course in rivals to try him out, but he did feel pretty nice yesterday So the team is now up on chemistry and the only player off chem is Rigoni on two Instead of being on one because we've now got another icon on the team for chem So that was the situation yesterday. That was pretty crazy But uh, if you're trying to get fodder right now, best thing I can tell you to do is grind objectives get as many objectives done as you can um, The crafting objective if you got stuff in the club, right um, the champs bonus when you get that on the weekend, the team we don't sleep on. I know I sleep on this a lot, but the weekly theme team pursuit going in squad battles and getting these done, gets you a bunch of packs draft objectives are still there for another week. Um, the Stuani even gives out a couple of decent packs. I got to get that one done. The daily play the cup. Of course, there's packs to be had. If you want to grind the game, it's just that, you know, not a lot of people like to grind the game day in and day out, especially after a busy winter wild cards period. So that's another long video. But I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. And I'll catch you guys in a video tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe for news. But Nathan Foot Accountant. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Out.